you guys will probably get to know me and know my history. I did not imagine that I'd actually have a blog, right? I didn't understand it. I would never even imagine that I have a YouTube channel, right? Because externally, just from looking at it, it's like, what the fuck is this old Asian dude making a fucking YouTube channel for? Hey, bro, grow the fuck up. But in all reality, of course, there's rhyme and reason behind it. Just like there's rhyme and reason why we have to make sure the video is recording. And it's because you, we have an opportunity to create ourselves a brand, right? And just like you had mentioned, we condition our prospects to look for rate and fees. Not we, but society does that. And society also has a specific reaction to brands. So for example, if you took this same ideology of me creating a brand that's specifically meant around helping you sell, imagine how vague that is. So three, four years from now, I can actually take this content and sell it to a car dealership, a mortgage loan place, does that make sense? It's helping me create that bridge because I believe this is where it's gonna go. Information is a multi-billion dollar industry. Now we're given the tools and capabilities to share information that you just happen to be really good with. So if you were to apply this same thing with all the new information that you learn from you know, training and NMLS and now all this information you now have from comp reports and understanding FICO scores, you now have inside information, just like I have inside information. Why you're dedicating time to hear me out and listen to it or why you may perceive as this information is valuable is because it's inside information. So think about your content on any engagement to be insider information. If you give it that attachment, you're not any longer a salesman, right? You're now a consultant. And there's a difference when you engage with both of them. And so I want you to think back if you ever bought a car or you know, if you ever went to Best Buy and you get a sales agent that comes up and says, hey, how you doing, right? Our immediate reaction, this will teeter off your comment, is that we're wired to tell him no, right? Even though we really need help, right? We really do genuinely need help because we don't know where this product is or whatnot. But because we're so wired to tell him no, we'll say no. Same way and same effect where if you're at a friend's house or you're a guest somewhere and they ask you for water, you're more inclined to say no because you don't wanna give a burden, right? These are just things that we need to engage with and that's what I was touching on about emotional intelligence. Connected to sales remastered.